Welcome to Lemons.com in a lab video series on Cisco Five Power 7.0. This is Matha, your instructor for this video series. For a complete list of Five Power videos, you can visit our website in the security section. There you can also sign up for our newsletters to receive the latest video updates. Now that we've got our Five Power setup upgraded to the version 7.0 in the last video, this video we are going to start our configuration by looking at the use of objects and access control policy. Let's take a look at our lab setup. We have our Cisco FMC, our lab FMC1, with the IP address 172.16.32.107, and that is on our server VLAN, VLAN32. Right next to that is our Windows 2019 domain controller, DNS server at the IP of dot 40. All of these are connected to a core switch, switch one. We also have a couple of user VLANs, and a Win10's machine on the VLANs, VLAN64, that we can use for network testing. We have one FTD device, LM HQ Firewall 1, that's acting as our internet firewall with two interfaces inside connecting to the core switch, the outside facing the internet, sending traffic through our ISP router. On the outside segment, we also have another test application server, uh, the Windows 2019, that we can used to test a couple of services. As you can see, it has the URL of external.labmins.com gets mapped to its LAN interface IP with a few services running that we can use, RDP and HTTP. At the top is the list of scenarios or access control rules that we are going to configure in this lab. When it comes to the next generation firewall feature on Cisco Fi Power, the first thing that you normally come across when you start the configuration is the access control policy. In fact, if you remember when you registered your Five Power device to the FMC, one of the mandatory configuration or settings that you need to specify is the access control policy. And this is because the access control policy is pretty much the heart and soul of Cisco Five Power. All the traffic that passes through the Five Power device must be evaluated by an access control policy with the exception of when the traffic is being fast path, which is something that we covered in the last video series. As we make our way through this video series, we will see that there are so many features that tied into access control policy, which help determine how the packet is treated. Needless to say, things can get complicated within the access control policy. To get us started here, we are going to play around with the basic of traffic matching and explore what action we can take upon a matching of a packet. Let's review these rule scenarios that we have. What we are going to configure, first thing we want to allow, a traffic that's coming from our server subnet, which is our, in this case, VLAN32, going towards our external.labmins.com server using RDP, right? So it's TCP 3389, which is being opened on the server. So as the servers access the external server that we have here, that should be allowed. We also want to allow our user network on user VLAN, in this case would be VLAN 64 and 65, going to that same server, allowing HTTP, so TCP 80 for that. Then we want to deny everything else, trying to reach that server through the firewall. We also want to provide user a little warning when our user is going out to a destination that is categorized as China using the geolocation on TCP 80. So any web page or websites that contains the IPs in China, we want to throw up a warning there. We want to block Facebook. So a destination facebook.com, it will show you a way to do that. Even though there's a different way to accomplish it, we will focus on using the network objects to do that. And then at the end, we want to deny to a dynamic blacklist destination. And again, we'll explain that when we get to the configuration of that rule. But that in general, what we're trying to accomplish here. First, let's talk about objects. Let me bring up the web interface to the FMC and then open an objects menu. So object is a reusable configuration unit that is used to match all sorts of traffic attributes, as well as configuring some of the firewall features. One of the most commonly used object is network. 